No stress. Hello everyone and welcome in the next episode. Today we are going to start something new. I hope you did the Golang backend course with my friend and you know how to build backend a little bit. And today I would like to show you a different way with different language and different framework. So we are going to create backend using Node.js. Let's start the first lesson. Okay, so let's start. But before we will start, I would like to tell you that you need to have a PostgreSQL database created uh, for the purpose of this app. And you have to have Node.js installed so you can work with it. Uh, if you don't know how to install Node.js, uh, I will put a link to their website so you can download the installer. It's pretty easy and you can also check out the documentation. Okay, so let's open the terminal and let's go to the folder where you would like to create your new Node.js project and we will start from installing nest.js CLI. It may take a second. Okay, when it's ready, we can create a new project. Let's use nest, new and the name of your project. I will call mine lesson one, but you can call your as you wish. Great, we can select which package manager would we like. I selected npm. You can feel free to select yarn. Depends on you. Okay, it's done. So now we can go to the folder of our newly created project and start installing additional packages. For the purpose of this application, we are going to use SQLize and SQLize TypeScript packages. So let's install them. Here are two missing dependencies which we need to install manually, so let's do it. You may not have this issue, but if you have, feel free to fix it with me. Also, if you have uh, different dependencies missing, you can install them as well. Okay, it's ready. Now we need to install one more package. It's called Umzuk, and we will be using it to do migrations. Okay, let's run our application. You can do it using npm or nest start. Great, it's running. So let's open the code in our favorite code editor. And let's start creating our backend. Okay, we will start from creating a new folder in our SRC and we will call it modules. Inside modules folder, I'll create database folder. And inside database folder, I will create two files, database module and database provider. You can create those files using Nest CLI, of course. I'll do it manu manually to show you that it's possible as well. So let's get started from our provider file. And let's start our coding. Okay, let's start from exporting a database provider. And setting up some options here. Also, we'll connect to our 
I hope, existing database. I have mine. Using this is factory. So get ready and prepare your database name, password, username, host and uh, port. Now let's use add models and inside here we will add modules when they will be ready but it won't be the lesson one. We will probably start working with modules and models in lesson two. Okay, now let's go to our database module file and let's import needed uh, packages here. So it will be module and the database provider that we've created a few seconds ago. And let's inject it and let's export the class. Okay, when it's done, save the file and go to app module TS and let's import here our database. When it's imported, let's add it to imports in the module. Great. So, it's time for the next step. Let's go to our root folder and let's create migrate ts file. Inside this file, please import SQLize from SQLize TypeScript and let's require umsuk. That package we installed. Oh, it shouldn't use require, but let's fix it. Okay, and here we will also need to provide data for our database. If you would like to make it maybe more comfortable, I hope we'll do it in the next lessons, we should uh, create the config file and we could reuse this data, but for now we are going to use it like this. So let's create the instance of the SQLize and here we will put our database data to connect. And now let's create an instance of Umzuk. And let's pass some parameters here. So storage will be SQLize. Storage options we want SQLize. We want logging to false and migrations with and migrations with params ok 
here we will also specify the folder where we will place our migration files. We haven't created yet, but we will. Okay, so here is the path for the folder and let's add the pattern of the file so it will be by Cool. And now let's get the task because we have to know if the migration is up or down according to what we are going to pass to the console. So let's define that and we are going to create a switch statement. Based on this task, we will lock the, the proper information in our console to be sure that uh, we've got the result we wanted. So the first case will be up. And the second case will be down. And don't forget to use the break statement in uh, the case. And let's add the default at the end. Cool, that's it in migrate.ts file. Let's go to our SCR folder and let's create migration. Migrations folder. Inside the migrations folder, we are going to create two files. One will be 1.1 users TS and the other one will be 1.2 accounts TS. Users and accounts are two tables we are going to have in our database. They will be connected with each other by user ID. So let's create the structure that we would like to migrate. Let's start from users TS. Let's import here a SQLize from SQLize this time, not SQLize TypeScript. And let's create two functions. One will be uh, up and the other one will be down. And also let's add table name here. It will be users. And in the second case, it will be accounts, of course. So let's create a query interface from the SQLize and let's create this command to create a table. So the first value in our users table will be ID and it should be integer. Our ID shouldn't be null. It should be auto increased and it should be unique and it also should be primary key. Okay, another value will be username. Another value will be email. And here it will be similar, just 50 length of characters. And the last value will be password. And here we want it to be maximum 250. Okay. Now let's create the down function. And as you maybe already know, or maybe not, down function will be dropping our table. So it will be cleaning it like totally. Okay, now you can copy this file and paste it into accounts.ts. And here we just need to change a few things. So the first thing we need to change is table name. We would like it to be accounts instead of users. And then uh, our ID will be actually totally the same, so we can leave it. And then we would like to have type. It will be also the same. The next value we want will be the name. It will be similar, just the length of characters will be different. The next field will be balance, and this one will be integer instead of characters. And the last one will be a little bit different. It will be user ID. 
So the type of user ID will be integer because in the previous file we set ID in our user table as integer. Do you remember? I hope yeah. And now we would like to add some references because we would like to reference to that table. So let's add model users and key ID. Cool, we are almost there because down function will stay the same. There is just one more thing we have to do. So let's go to package.json and inside the script we would like to add a comment to run this script. So migrate ts node and path to the migrate ts file. Cool, great! Well, let's check if our migrations are working. So now we need to use npm run migrate up or down. As our database is empty right now, we will use migrate up. Oops, I got an error here. Well, let's see what is it. Oh, there's one missing package. So let's go and install pg package manually, as the error says, and let's try again. So, let's try again. Great! It seems like it worked. And now I will open the Beaver and I'll try to show you if I have created new tables. You can check it out as well. So, here you can see that I have Accounts table, Users table and SQLize meta, which is like data from the SQLize. It will be here, so no worries if you have any additional thing. So let's check what we have here and we, you can see here that we have users table, accounts table, exactly the names that we really wanted. Also we can see that it's connected by the ID, user ID to user ID in accounts, so it works exactly as we want it. Okay, let's now get back to the terminal and let's try migrate down. In migrate down, it's a little bit different story because it will work only on the one file. So you can see here that only accounts table was dropped. Let's do it again. And voila, it's even written here that file 1.1 users was used for this migration and here there are no users table anymore. Great, that's it for the lesson 1 and I hope you will stay with us for the lesson 2 for creating a login form and well, that's it. Also, I'll place you necessary links in the description, so stay with us if you didn't manage to get the code, I will add this uh, repository in our GitHub. I will put a link as well. Thank you for watching! Great! So we did the first step, we set up our application, we did migrations and in the next lessons we are going to create a simple API for login form which you can see in Angular course. Also, if you didn't try it, you can check out Golang course, I will put links here. And if you liked the video, remember to subscribe, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!